Oh, good day to all you scrappies out there. Uh, welcome to the my first effort at making a uh, video on this little uh, GoPro <clears throat> that uh, kindly supplied by uh, We Ben from the uh, Scrap Metal Forum. Uh, decided I'd uh, make some some vids on scraps and what I do. Um, I make a bit of a business out of it, so. Uh, it's not just a hobby. What you see in front of me is part of the last load that I picked up down in Brisbane. There's 18 air conditioners, uh, all reverse cycle as you can see, and uh, 15 in the front there. Uh, they're brand new, have never been used, but they're imported from uh, China and uh, <laughs> they, they don't meet with our regulations. Apparently they can't be gassed up properly, so uh, I've ended up with them. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I had to pay for them, but uh, given their, their scrap value, it was well worth doing. Uh, while I was at it, of course, we picked up uh, some of these uh, fire extinguishers. And uh, they're all full, by the way. Uh, out of date, but they're full, and they're all uh, just dry powder ones. Uh, only problem with them, of course, the dry powder tends to settle in the bottom. But uh, you give them a bit of a bash and uh, they, they work, so we'll see what they look like. Uh, that ugly bit of metal behind them leaning against the, uh, the bin, that's actually stainless steel. Uh, that was a, uh, like on a roadside uh, sign and uh, they'd stuck that over it, it's like an arrow type of thing. Uh, you never know what you pick up and what you'll find. Uh, of course, while I was down there, a little bit of scrap here in the, in the front, it's only light gauge. And uh, if we look over here beyond my car, I'll just walk that way. That's my uh, pile of uh, light gauge. It's uh, not worth much on its own and it's very bulky to move. So what I do up here, I've got a mate who's got a, uh, a crushing machine and every now and then he'll come out he'll bring the machine out here and we'll put all this stuff through it and uh, make it into nice little bricks and uh, he pays me and then he takes it down to brisbane and uh, he gets uh, gets it at a good price because it's clean and it's all compressed for them so just around the side of it here there's a little pile there on its own uh, that's the light gauge that i brought back with me um, they're the remains of uh, roadside signs. They'd been in a bloke's front paddock and he decided he didn't want them. Uh, there was about half a tonne of steel, uh, heavy gauge steel, uh, three by three um, inch square tube, which uh, I didn't bother bringing 300 kilometres home. I took that all into my dealer in Brisbane and got rid of that. Uh, that paid my fuel for the trip. Uh, but the rest of it, yeah, is here. Um, as you can see in this wide shot, I live in a country area, in a little house down there, and we're over 300 kilometres from Brisbane. And this is just my top paddock where I've set up here. You can see there's some couple of rainwater tanks there. They'll go through the crusher. Uh, a couple of car bodies. Same thing, they've all been stripped. Chassis are gone out of them. In fact, the chassis are there in front of you and they'll eventually go down as being uh, heavy gauged uh, oversize. So uh, yeah that, that's my little setup. I've uh, built myself a bit of a shed over here. Uh, a lot of rubbish in front. I've still got a lot of cleaning up to do. Uh, sort of as you can see there's see through the trees and that there's, uh, there's scrap everywhere. A heap of fridges over the back um they've all got to be stripped another heap over here just past the gantry uh again these have all got to be uh skins cut off them and strip out the uh hopefully uh, copper insulation tubes inside refrigeration tubes that help the insulation they go up all through the uh, the sides of them and tops uh, it's it's a bit of mucking around with them but uh you get all that copper out and given copper at the moment uh, all that copper that comes out of there is classed as candy and you know it, it's worth about eight dollars ten a kilo so it's uh well worth um 
well worth recovering. Uh, yeah, bins of steel still to go down to Brisbane. Three bins there. There's probably, I think, nearly 700 kilos there. And my little shed uh, wouldn't take me long to get it full of junk. Uh, the wheelchair there someone gave me, that's um, it's not for my benefit, uh, not yet anyway. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the little bench up there and uh, gradually I'll get this uh, sorted out a bit better. Um, my oxy cutting here, I use LPG, I don't use the settling. The settling's too dear and uh, I get the LPG for nothing thanks to my uh, other scrappy mate up here. And uh, yeah, it, it does the job fine. Uh, yeah, that's that's my little setup. I, I just thought I'd show you that before uh, you know I get into doing anything uh, sort of serious and do some more serious uh, sort of videos. I know we Ben from the forum he wanted me to do a bit on uh, recovery of precious metals like gold from uh, computer boards and accessories, etc. And initially I said I wouldn't do it, but. Um, Okay, I, I will do something in the future. Uh, maybe I'll do some refining in the future, future, but uh, I, I will do something just to uh, give you guys some ideas of uh, what's out there, what to look for, and uh, what you can, you can sort of get out of it. Um, at some stage here too, I'll go through stripping down one of these uh, air conditioners for you, show you what's in them, what we can get out of it. And uh, I've actually got a, you can see there, a, a flat screen TV. We'll, we'll even have a go at um, video, videoing uh, what, I, what I do with that. Interesting little machine I've got here on the bench. Um, you've probably seen them, we've talked about them on the forum. Well, that blue box up there, it's a wire stripper, um, which I bought through Amazon. And it's supposed to be able to strip down to about uh, one and a half mil. It can actually go down to just under one mil. Uh, it's all adjustable by the, uh, the bolts on the top there. And as you can see, probably it, it comes up to some good size. To, to get your top grade copper, and we'll have a look at copper too in another vid. To get your top grade copper, it has to come out of insulated wire. Um, not out of motors or anything like that. Um, that all comes out as what we call burnt copper. And uh, I'll show you that as we go along. But that's uh, it's been a very good investment, that machine. Um, particularly when you uh, see top copper prices of up to $8.50 a kilo. So, oh, okay, there we go, fellas. So that'll probably do it for the first one. I can have a look at this now on the, uh, on the big screen. And uh, see so I can have a play with it and uh, make it good. Okay, thanks fellas, I'll talk to you again after.